We're going live. Hi, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. Uh, tonight, I uh, am joined by Christian. What's up? And Anna. He probably said my name, but he didn't come through. Oh, Anna? Like, you, <laughs> there didn't, we go. you didn't hear it? I'm here. All right, is my mic not loud enough, Anna? Do I need to make it louder for you? That's all right. No, ever, ever... no. <laughs> okay, just, just want to make sure. broke out for a second. Cut out, not broke out. That would be like, hi. And then, uh, and then we also have Jack with us as a special guest today. Shut up, peoples. Trying to just figure out my camera issue, so ignore the shadowiness. Until I get the well, fixed. obviously, I mean, so it's dark. microcasters, so we have to have some type of tef- technical difficulties. Um, I had to, like, re-log into Facebook you, with the software, so that took a few extra minutes and all this other stuff. So trying to get the camera set up and, uh, and whatnot. And the figure we're reviewing today is so big that I was having trouble fitting them into the space so i guess i don't know if i'm just gonna hold him like a baby and you know kind of hold him up in front of me i don't know exactly how uh we're gonna do that pretty much what i did in the store when i saw him wow i didn't have that experience because sean uh, actually picked mine up so i did the uh <laughs> he did it twice he he uh, he picked up two Skylinks and then you know kind of met me in a car in a random parking lot and passed it window to window kind of it was like a <laughs> you know some kind of plastic crack deal so cool I've had those kind of deals with Sean before I guess that's his thing well now with you know everything yeah. going on and 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 whatnot it's not. Like you're really like meeting face to face, you know, whatever. So it's, you know. No, it's a bummer because before it did the, okay, so, you know, like this is problem 8,257,000 with being in a pandemic. But back in the day when there was a figure I didn't have, I would just go to Lucas's house and look at it. But now it's like, you can't do that. You can't do that. You can still come over, like, you know can meet out in the driveway. We'll play with toys uh, in the driveway from six feet. Wear, wear masks and, and all that kind of thing. So I'll get one of those dinosaur grabby hands, and I'll just, like, <laughs> I'll reach across and play with the toy. At least be somatic and get the robot grabby hand. Yeah. There you go. You're right. But the dinosaur can be good luck. I get add robot. Get one, right. get, get one of each. If you ever need to hold something with two hands, you have one of each. Ah, the robot dinosaur. Modern problems require modern solutions. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. I like a more hand like one of those laying around her house. I could just borrow that. Or I can wear a hazmat suit as suggested by our viewer Randall. There you go. I I do think, Anna, that you need like a special <laughs> custom hazmat suit. Like I'm sure somebody's making that out there, so that's what one. I would suggest. It'll be fantastic. So tonight mm-hmm. we're talking about a bird cat combination, something like that, right? Skylinks. Skylinks. I've heard of this guy. Did he ever show up in the cartoon? Yes. Yeah. Lots. Lots. Hmm. It was season yeah, three, season right? Three. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Ah, uh, that's the one I didn't really watch as a kid, but I watched like over one really bizarre week. <clears throat> I bet that no was I don't remember Season how. 3 is really weird. It was really weird. Season 3 is quite different. He also showed up in the comics a lot. He was associated with uh, the Cosmic Carnival and the Mechanibals and Dreadwind and Darkwing for a little bit. He's an important dude. I just said it. One quick aside. Okay, quick aside number one is that I, Catherine just called him a space chicken. And I just find it funny how many space chickens we have in Transformers. Because I remember when Lucas got, um, what's his face? Uh, Desaurus, um, or Deathsaurus, or however you want to oh, say yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Space chicken. Yeah. This is also space chicken. There's one more space chicken, right? Could you could you count Double Dealer? I mean. Yeah, yeah. People call him he's, he's too. He's space. So? He can go to space. He's a Transformer. They didn't Fine. breathe until the age. 
Anyway, Dude, he's yeah. cool. We have Skylinks. He is one of the. Is Skylinks the most bizarre character in Transformers as far as like form? I'd say probably. I don't know. There's a lot of random toys in the line that just kind of got smushed together. <laughs> but maybe. Well, like padded and bird smushed together, so it's great. <laughs> Yeah, what was the original, like, figure that came out? Because, like, obviously, I'm sure this was retooled from some other toy line, right? So, like, what was... Um, it was not. And it, it was, was not. made by someone else, but it never it never came out as something mm. else. Ah, uh, okay. I'm going to say, yep. That makes sense. Yep, it was bought up before... Before it came out as anything else. So, it's always been Skylinks for us. Which is perfect, because it's, it's one of those, like, like I never had Skylinks as a kid, but I always wanted it, because it was just super weird, <laughs> and now we get to have it in some form, so it's cool. So tell me about this toy, guys. The I G1, don't, don't by, by the way, the G1 Skylinks is really awesome. Like, it even has, <laughs> you put batteries in it, and it walks on its own and everything, so. I've never had one. I have a G1 oh, cool. over here somewhere, but this one doesn't yeah. walk. Does it walk better than fine. Omega? My Omega's never oh. walked thick or good. I'm still repairing my Omega, so it will walk, but yeah. Someday. I need more right. parts. Anyway, Space Chicken the Third. Go. Space Chicken the Third. How about I'll start since I'm in the mode that none of you guys are in? Please do. Okay. Which mode are you in? I'm in base mode. Take a guess. Oh, yeah. I haven't even done base mode yet, so there you go, Christian. I did it once <laughs> today. I was like, eh. It's a kind of cool base. It's got big old ramps. It's got a launch pad. It's got gun emplacements. The only problem with base mode, I'm about to show you. You guys ready? Mm. It does not peg in securely at all. It's got a little, little teeny tiny, itty bitty, little tab right there that goes into a hole that's actually not deep enough on the, uh, the lower portion, and uh, just falls right over. You would think I got it. that it has, since it has these peg holes right here, these three holes that correspond to the thrusters in the back of the space shuttle portion, that uh, those would peg in and, and make it secure. They do not. <laughs> so if it, you I got to just balance it there. Yeah, I got it once to kind of tab in loosely, yeah. and mm -hmm. I think just because of the weight, it was just like <laughs> I'm not having any of this. So see so ya. Yeah. Leaning. I mean, sky it does. If you can get it, it looks great. You know, it can interact with MicroMaster in several different ways because it's got you know the ramp system here, here, here. I mean, it's it's cool, but. Uh, it's not the mode anyone wanted, but it's as far as you know, base mode transformers go. As far as like transformers who aren't supposed to have base modes that get them thrust upon them, this one's pretty good. It's like I, up there with Blaster from Titans Return. Yeah, I feel like that base actually looks more like a G1 base than the Titans yeah. have lately. But that just looks really good. Right. I mean, that's what I feel like. A lot of the base modes are quote unquote base modes like they're you know just kind of like you lay Fan the mode. thing flat down and, right. and and whatever like especially the bases from titans return like blaster and Soundwave, i thought had a decent bases but like mostly the other ones didn't mm -hmm. and um yeah even even like fort max and some of those like the bases weren't the most amazing like i don't yeah. i don't know like i think this Great. is actually like for an extra tacked on mode i think it's kind of cool and it doesn't really interfere it, with the other modes. Like, you know what no, I mean? Like, it having it, a base mode look, doesn't here, make... Here we are. Yeah. And then you push these parts in, and that's, you know, essentially back to links. But you got to move the legs oh, well, around. Oh, wow, I mean, that's it. Yeah. That happens Pretty so fast. Easy stuff. You take these guys off. You move the legs around. And then it's, you know, cat mode again. All right. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. I didn't expect to like the base, but it, it actually looks it's a, good. It's a workable, totally fine, decent base. Without, except for the you know shuttle mode tipping over, which <laughs> you can, if you can get it so it's standing and it's kind of secure, just leave it. That's its only flaw. It looks nice, but it's not secure. 
Yep, pretty much. I've been thinking about just building a base for my legends out of some of my retail figures. So that's, it's nice to know that has a good one. And now I'm going to cat mode so you guys can talk it, about other stuff. It has lots of strong ratchets, so. It does. They're nice yeah. and loud. Oh, yeah. That's, I'm, uh, I'm that's nice. Clicky clacky. Clicky clack clacks or burp? Are we doing combined well, or bird or what separate? What do we in that time? Separate. Oh, he's in a cat mode. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, so I mean that's the thing that's the, kind of pretty the neat. Portion. It's super easy. <laughs> so what do you think of the cat? Like, is it good? It. I mean, it's not a like a great cat, but it's got you know ankles, which I know you love. It's got ankles on all four oh. feet. It's got you know those heavy ratchets. You guys were hearing me transform on the hips and in the uh, the knees. It has. You know, hip rotation and all of the legs. I mean, it's all heavy stuff. So, yeah, it's well articulated. It looks like it's supposed to. Here's a shot of the head. It's got that not quite chrome, but pretty shiny gold paint, which is nice. And he's got a cannon for a tongue. Ooh, cannon Did you on. show off the fact that the, like, front legs can kind of splay out a little bit? No, I'm saying that. the like little shoulders. So like, you know what I mean? Like they're in and then they're That's out. Great. Yeah. Like the front legs, Christian. Yep. I've got the front legs. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Watch. Christian, watch. I'm watching. What? Pull out. Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. Okay. That's a thing you can do. Now he's more Boom. flexible. That's really cool. Of course, the back legs had it too, but if they don't, but that's okay. So I will say the Lynx mode, if for some reason that you really love this, like Lynx, and you want to display a Lynx, I would say the MMC one is better. Uh, the fact that the MMC one has like uh, articulation in the middle, um, like this, it's like a flat. Like, his back is, is very flat and whatnot. Um, he's very, again, like, he has very similar articulation otherwise, other than that little waist part. Uh, but, you know. The and MC I have one is also here. $100 just for, you know, half it. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's much cheaper, too. An interesting yeah. design it's element it took over from MMC, and you can show this part, too, is that it has two tails, which I don't think the G1 has. But uh, both of the modern incarnations have the two tails. Robot Tushy. Huh. Intel. I, I can't remember. I don't know if it did or not, but it seems to have two tails yeah, now. It does. It does. Like it. It does. The picture here on the G1, it does have a two tails. The tails yeah. are cool. Oh, well, then I'm wrong. But I really think that for me, like if I was going to display it in cat mode, having that you know, waist, quote-unquote, joint, really does make a big difference. Which, you know, this one is way more expensive, way heavier. Right. The, the other thing is, is that if I were going to try to stop an intruder, I would definitely <laughs> want the MMC uh, cat mode versus the Hasbro one. Like, that thing is like a solid brick of die cast. Um, so Make this, this your is... Make this the baby to that one. Make it like it's kid or something. Why not do that? Just put it side by side and be like, oh yeah, mama kitty, baby kitty. Just do both. Have double yeah, kitty. No, I think it would be good to have both. Honestly, because Skylix is so weird, having both would bother me less than it does with most characters. I just don't want to have both because, you know, that's like a 300 something dollar investment to have both of them. But Or, or you can have another Skylinx. Right? The Combiner Wars one. Is that Yay. your Combiner Wars one? Yeah. Mine is right Did that guy a while ago? Now I have a bird. Is it bird time? Bird time! Bird time. So you like the cat. The cat doesn't have, um, one last thing about the cat, it doesn't have any neck movement, right? It does. Does it? it? Does. Okay. Up and down. Up and down, but not left and right. It can get it slightly. Oh, it does. It does. It's right. just slight. It's slight, okay. but they, it has it. Well, yeah. See, looking but, in it, it's... Yeah. yeah, I see it. It's moving a little bit. It's very slight. 
Very slight. Um, Got it. So, but I mean, the I think overall, the deco, move, the so, deco so. is really neat, though. Like, I like all the... De- like, I don't feel like they overdid the detailing on the figure, but it's nice because it's, it's broken up, like, you know, just the gray and, and all that type of thing. Like, I, I don't know. I, th- I think that the detailing looks... It's it's definitely generations, but it's not like overdone, in my opinion. Yeah, it looks good. It yep. actually it looks, looks nice. almost a little more detailed than the MMC. Yeah, I is. just sold my MMC last week, and I had an opportunity to you know, hang out with it again before I did so. This one does have more sculpted detail, right? For mm-hmm. sure, but and definitely the generations these days. Right. Lots of scope yep. of detail, even if it's not technically G1 accurate to have that much detail, it's there. Yeah, you can see it really well on the back here. It's, I mean, I don't know if my camera will grab it, but it's got all these little panel lines that are highlighted through silver. I mean, they're not, I mean, they're not like panel lined, but they have you know, lines for panels. Anyway, a lot of sculpted detail. A lot of sculpted detail. Which is great. Looks yeah. good. And it's got these little additional treads on the shoulders here that are for base mode only. They don't mm-hmm. move, they're just painted detail, which is cool. I like them a lot. Excellent. Chicken. Chicken. All right. Haha, <laughs> get it. So here's the part that matters most for right now. Here's the, you know, his legs. They're skinny and uh, they are heavily ratcheted. I muted myself to uh, transform to this mode. But again, they have ankles on the bird feet, the toes, and the back toe. Is that a toe? I don't know how bird anatomy works. Anyway, it moves into claw shapes, which is cool. And uh, it's got a swivel, it's got a knee. I can go all of the Come ways. On. It splays. And then it goes back and forth as well. Heavy, heavy ratchets, I'm sure you guys heard. Lots of movement, though. Lots of movement. It's all the movement that you would want to have. Uh, the wings, I think, are good, but they are, uh, you know, it just does that, and boom, there's, there's okay. your mode. I feel, I feel like, in general, the wings might be the weakest part on the figure, uh, just because they can go so many different ways, and the way that, yeah. like, they kind of are, like, I don't... I don't think it's a problem, but like I, if I were to say there's, you know, the the weakest part of the figure. If you have it, you know, displayed like this, then you get the underside, which is you know kind of holy and undetailed. So it's kind of best to just have it displayed you know, like that. Like that looks good. You know, this doesn't look quite so good. See, I just thing... kind of leave them like halfway in. One thing in general about the wings, and I don't even know if it's showing up on camera, like, if you compare this to the MMC one, like, there's just this little detailing, and they have this fine, like, the edge of the wing is painted. And so it's a slightly different shade of white, and I just think that that looks really cool. Like, it just makes it pop, in my opinion. Yeah, they they got it on the wings, and then they got it on the side of the fuselage, and on the bottom, too. And yeah, it does. Back the tail. yeah, that too. That tail looks very Another familiar. deco thing. Another deco thing I really like is that Skylinks has typically had these gold-backed <laughs> Autobot symbols, and he has them again here. So it's nice to see. Nice and shiny. Very shiny. Can we see a nice close-up of the face? Thank you. And he even has a blaster on his tongue too. Yep. Oh, so I can cue, cue, bang, bang. bang. Oh, How's the neck? Wait, a lot of sculpted detail. How's the neck? It's great. Great. Okay. And and see, so this is one thing over the MMC one is is that this has uh, these really nice ratchets in the neck. Mm-hmm. They're really strong, and like that was one of the big fail points for MMC. So like, eventually, like if you mess with that neck on yours, Anna. Like it's gonna get loose. Like the more you oh, mess yeah, with it, the... right? Right. So like it's, it's 
So what what you have to do for the MMC one, like all the screws are exposed on this one, but on the MMC one, what you have to do is you have to actually drill into the side with a drill in order to get to the screws. And so it's just kind of like, I mean, it's something you're, you probably won't do. Most people probably won't do. Um, so like that, that's one thing that's, that's nice about this. The Hasbro one is, is you don't have to worry about that. Looks like the legs honestly move easier too. Like the legs on this are kind of painful to move. Like they're full of ratchets and whatnot, but they're just a little like I don't know, they're ornery. So the legs on that look a little easier to work with. It's also significantly smaller, which makes a big difference. So Catherine was asking whether or not the he can stand fine on his own in chicken mode, and and yes, yes. he can. It's um, touchy. Like it's not. Yeah. For me, it's been touchy the past. I mean, I could get up. He stands perfect, but it takes some fiddling to do. Um, I think it took I think three minutes to get him, at least two or three minutes just to try. I to mean, get it's something where the ratchets and the legs are strong. And so like, you're not going to have a problem with that. It's really more just that like the surface area, like the weight of the figure and the surface area and whatever, that it can be a little touchy, but I, I don't think it's that big of a problem. Yeah. Mine is standing on its own right now. I'd show you, but my camera's on tripod. Um, yeah, it's totally fine. It just, you just got to find the balance point. That's all. Yeah. His feet are little, right? Uh, Decent. no, pretty big, or long, okay. they're long, which is what matters. Yeah. And they have the ankle tilt out, which is uh, right. also very important for trying to make it, make it balance. Cause you get that wider stance. So yeah, it'll, it'll stand on its own. As you told no me worries. before, it has six total ankle tilts. It has six total ankle tilts, which is pretty crazy. Mostly because it's two people, but. Um, you want to talk about combined mode for a second? One. I'm going to go there. One. Okay, cool. That's so, go, combined right? mode. I was there really before. You like combined mode. Well, you guys didn't have to transform. I was transforming. I mean, it, it's going to take me like a minute to get it back. Hold on. Hurry up. Other, other than you're going to have to hear ratchets two. clicking. Click, 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 it's fine. It's not like we heard. Well, in the before. meantime, how about I show you one more? Detail yeah, what, what, where were you gonna? Mode. Where are you gonna say about combined mode? Shuttle mode. It, the bay doors open, which you kind of saw briefly in base mode for me. Maybe if I open them, I don't remember. Um, it's got little solar panels inside, which is cool. That's fine. It's nice. That part didn't have to open, but it opens just for base mode, and it looks neat. Uh, additionally. His shuttle oh, I, name is the Magnificence. Let's see that. Hey, I have a question on Pretty combined cool mode stuff. because, like, What's the up? back. Can you actually get the back where it's like super solid in, or does it just kind of hang out? No, you cannot, and that's what I wanted to talk about. <laughs> because the front does have a little snap-in piece, and I'm sure uh, Lucas and Jack can show you guys that. Right, here, I'll show it from. Uh, the links perspective it's right here this little tab it has you know a snappy end piece there. yeah so when you're in there's the tab you know, like that yeah you got this little it tab goes in the front right. of the bird and then it can release like that it's on a trigger which you think would be really good and it is but the back mode for i've the, got it the before to where I, of, it will hold it um, doesn't have it i think i can get them I swear okay. that somebody else on another review was saying that, like, once you get it, you can get it solid in, oh. but I have not oh, yeah. been able to get it. Um, I just oh, got I it. got it. I just got it. Yeah. Yeah, you got to pretty much just line it in, you... kind of just give it a squeeze if you put put your finger right, right. So around here, and me this thumb right at the base door, give it a good squeeze, and you hear, hear a pop, and then so it'll saying, go in. So you're saying you got to give his butt a good squeeze? Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then, then once you hear well, the pop, yeah. once you're gone in, like it, it's it's really solid once you get it. Yeah, got it. I just got it again. So, so can you at that point hold the whole thing by just the Dino Bird portion? Yep. 
Once Whoa. you get it okay, in. cool. Then my complaint is my complaint is gone. Never mind. Ah. Yeah. See, that's what I was like. I I that's wasn't able to do it, I'll, I'll so I'm glad. I'm I'm glad that I figured this out because I that was, was like my first... complaint too. Live. You could have there live. There we go. Look at that. Yeah. See, it, it like takes it takes a little bit of time to find the hole, but once you get it. I, it was like the first time I took them out of the box and I was trying to combine them. I'm like, I think <laughs> I could try to get it to pop. And sure enough, I was like, oh, just grab right and you're, you're fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it just takes just a little bit of doing, Christian. So. He said to squeeze his butt. That would be Yeah, you, don't, you right. don't really. I don't do the clip first. You do the back. Yeah, you got to do the back. You got to do the back first before you do the front. Yeah, so. So yeah, do it like that. Do the first one. Just give it. And just give hey, it a squeeze. You got it. Yeah. Did you get it? Did you get it? I think you got it. I did. I was really trying to ratchet you guys to death, but uh, yeah, I got it. I just it. saw his face, and he just said, "Oh." Yeah, he saw your face. It was. It was nice to see you so happy. I was just trying to illustrate the point without you know sound. <laughs> I mean, would you say yeah, that the I first time that, that you get it's always the no. best, or? I think the first time you get it to pop in, it kind of changes your perspective. <laughs> good, good. We're proud of you. <laughs> that boy, Christian, you can do it. You know what? I appreciate the support. So it looks cool. So really I had one complaint really about this easy. whole thing, and I, now I don't need more. <laughs> You made your uh, expensive toy better. I did. So it, it looks really like like you look bulky and tanky. Yeah, big boy. Yeah, so I mean, uh, honestly, for me, like this is what I'm planning on keeping them in. I mean, for Skylinks, like I mean, ultimately, like it's fun to go to the other modes and it's easy and all that kind of thing, but like. At the end of the day, like he's gonna be sitting in combined mode, yep. and I think the combined mode looks really, really good. And I actually mm -hmm. think the combined mode looks better than MMC because there's less kibble in combined mode. Yep, I agree with that. Same. I, I do have one weird opinion, and remember when we reviewed Jetfire last year? But he's the previous Commander class figure before Skylinks. Mm -hmm. And we were like, man, this Jetfire is like the best thing that Hasbro's ever put out. I mean, this, this Commander <laughs> class is like fantastic. And yeah. you know, I, I just love it. I still love that figure day. It's so much fun. Same. <laughs> this doesn't quite live up to Jetfire. And you know, two figures is not a great sample size. So, you know, our Commander class is going to be more like Jetfire. Are they going to be more like Skylinks? You know, is Jetfire just especially fantastic? Or is cause Skylinks kind of falling short of that? We don't know. The sample size is too small. But they're both good. I think Jetfire is still better. But at the same time, I think what I really like about like these figures, the Commander class, is like it doesn't seem like they skimped on anything. Like that's where yeah. I feel like that like every leader class, like I yeah, I could go through and nitpick and say they cut costs right there. Like or whatever. And I feel like with this toy that they just said, or, and, and this is the same thing with Jetfire is, is like, there was really not a whole lot that you're like, oh, this is, you know, like they, they skimped on this or they skimped on that. Like to me, I feel like, yes, $80 is a lot to pay for a Hasbro figure, but there's a lot of plastic here and it's a big figure and it's, it's great. Like, and this is like, I, I don't feel like I need a better Skylinks than this. So. Pretty it makes much. total sense. I was thinking about that. Like, with Skylinks, it almost feels easier not to have those little imperfections we have in most figures, like gaps and missing articulation and everything else, because we have no expectations. Because Skylinks is a unique thing, right? Like, it's the only giant Lynx cat baby and the only, well... I guess one of a couple space chickens. So you really don't have an expectation for what can possibly be missing. So I feel like it was a little easier to hit that goal. But at the same time, it means it's still good. 
But and the thing is, is both of this figure and Jetfire both had third party figures that came out before that. Right. And so that's the thing is, is like there's so many people, myself included, that are, you know, sitting there comparing it to the MMC one uh, and then Jetfire with the fans toys one. And so I think that like. Again, I mean, I think it's pretty impressive to me to where you could even make that comparison and and not get like laughed out of the room. Um, so Probably and and I think that you. again from from this standpoint, I mean, I I don't know. I mean, I know I'm sure people will, you know, not necessarily agree with me. Like I I think that like would I rather have a the fans toys and this. Like so, fans toys Jetfire, and and Hasbro Skylinks, or would I rather have uh, Hasbro Jetfire and, you know, what I'm saying like if you go buy it that way, which one would you rather have, Christian? I think I would rather have Hasbro on both. I've had the I had fans toys Phoenix before I bought Jetfire, and I had MMC's Magnet Inventor before I bought this. And the Hasbro beats both of them to me every time. But that's because of what I value in my collection. You know, I value things that are more toys rather than like adult display collectibles. And, and that's what I go for. So this kind of aesthetic and Jetfire's kind of aesthetic are better for me than Phoenix and Magna Inventa. Plus, you, you know, there's no comparison on cost. Right. I mean, I think that's the big thing. I just can't imagine that most people with that Jetfire would look at it and be like, I really need to upgrade my Jetfire. I wish I could afford a Phoenix. Because I sure don't. I look at it and I go, like, this is a good Jetfire. He's fine. He actually usually hangs out with my Masterpiece Seekers. Like, he looks fine with them. I've heard a lot of people that do that. Look, Phoenix is a really, really good figure. Of course. Magna Inventa is a really, really good figure. But I don't think they're so much better that it would justify the cost of owning them over the Hasbro versions. Yep. I don't think right. so either. I feel like with this one and with Jetfire, it's like whichever one you have, as long as you like it, you might as well keep it unless you want a little bit of a refund for the third party ones. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I think like, like, I don't feel I need to go get what you have because I have a version of it I think I enjoy just as much. But I don't think there's anything wrong with your spray. Like, I think it looks super cool. With Skylinks. Yes. Okay, Christian just froze. Everyone froze. I'm no. Good. No. Good. no. Um, we're here. So, I mean, I think that in some ways, I mean, the materials... Obviously, in the third party are, you know, feel a lot nicer. There's more... Um, I don't know if there's more paint on. I mean, this has a lot of paint on it. So, but, uh, y you know, I mean, I, I do think that, you know, they're bigger, obviously, and all that. But, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I think for $80, like, this is a pretty spectacular figure. Absolutely. Yeah, Personally, right. I would rather this didn't have as much metal as it does. I know the metal is there partially yeah. to weight a giant, giant figure to make him stand well. But, jeez, this scene is heavy. And, you know, these feet are going to wear out because they're metal and heavy. They're going to become floppy eventually. And it's just like, I would really rather this thing was less metal. I would prefer it was, you know, all plastic and $20 cheaper, honestly. So, not a metal, not a metal fiend. Me either. There's a part of me that definitely kind of wishes I would have had that one first because I wouldn't upgrade it. You know, like, I would have no need to get Magna and Inventa if I didn't, you know, already have them. Because I could get that one. I'm only keeping these because they're here. It's easier. <laughs> yeah, Magna and Inventa came, in came out in a world where we had no idea a, a real-sized Skylines was coming. We had the Combiner Wars one, but that was a bit undersized and didn't fit for a lot of people. And then Magna and Inventa struck, and it's it's fantastic. It's really good. And then Hasbro comes and knocks it out of the park with this one. So, it's like, Shia. you know, it just... <laughs> It shows the recent trend that really nothing is out of scope for Hasbro anymore. We used uh -huh. to feel that you know, they would kind of do the same characters over good, and there's a certain amount of that still now. But with combine with uh, combining the commander class with like selects, I mean the, the field is wide open, and that's a good feeling to have about Hasbro. 
Mm-hmm. But I feel like with okay. Hasbro, like, there's just so much product coming out now, you know? Like, it's kind of like you're getting both. Getting both of what? Like, you're, get, you're getting Optimus over and over and over again, but you're getting sure. those crazy characters that, like, you didn't Absolutely. expect to get. And I know, I yeah. mean, even... Even talking to some of the people at TFCon, um, you know, a lot of third parties, I mean, honestly, that's what killed, you know, Fans Project and some of those other third parties is is that uh, Hasbro just started releasing everything. And so they don't know what's the next project that Hasbro is going to work, you know, work on, and then that's just going to kill their sales. So, you know, they, they don't want to do it. Yeah, perhaps a... a- topic for a larger TFYLP episode down the road. Yeah. You know, Hasbro really I mean, wanted to kill third party. That's the way to do it. <laughs> right. I'm sure exactly. Paul would love that topic. Just make better figures. You know, a, a topic that I would be interested in doing eventually, and I want to get back to our toy for tonight, right after I say this, but would be are we actually getting more product now than we did in the mid eighties? I almost feel like we're getting more Transformers now than we did when Transformers was new and cool and C1. I don't know. I'd have to actually compare because you can't It's hard to say like year to year. Uh, We might be getting more. I don't know. It's like it's such a different landscape because now like like the concept of waves like didn't really exist back then. That's true. I think the Peters of the world would know instantly, but I, I right. don't. I'm at best <laughs> discount restaurant. So it would just be a fun I thing to think, look at. I think it's at least comparable. I think it's getting comparable if it isn't a little bit past, but we'd have to look at it. It would just be a fun thing. So for this guy, Links, everybody going through and recommending personally, since I've just seen him and heard him, I've heard him a lot, very loud ratchets. I would say <laughs> that personally, I think I would recommend it, even though I don't own it. Because this, um, even secondhand, you know, the Simmons C1 cost me a lot. And it's honestly really hard to figure out where to put it because it is so humongous that that one would be easier to fit into my collection because my collection is in a finite three dimensional space. Huh. So I would recommend it. It looks pretty fantastic. I'll update you guys tomorrow on whether or not it fits in a dead off cube. I think I can do it. I'm, I'm pretty sure this one fits in a in one it'll be it'll be tight but I, I think i can i think i can do it mine just sits on this little shelf here so he's good he's next to unicron so he's he's got plenty of plenty of room still it would help if the tail had side to side motion i could kind of wrap it around but it doesn't oh yeah that's like the only only piece of articulation i wish it had and it doesn't have but that's such a minor nitpick at this level so recommend christian absolutely yeah, totally. Zach? Definitely. Yeah. Oh, I was going to show off the shuttle. Oops. My wing came out. Ah. Oh, yeah. The, clip yeah. On, the clips for the wings are not very good either. That's... Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't go to actual show I think once you, once you get that, it in, it's not that bad. But... Once you get it, it's fine. But you don't, it's the pulling it under thing to clip it in is weird. Right. But MMCs are weird to clip in, too. It clips in in, like, four different places, and none of them ever clip at the same time, so... MMC's shuttle is a little bit of a pain in the butt to transform. Yep. I think that probably just proves that shuttle wings are difficult. Yeah, absolutely. And then this is... Here's your platform. Yay. That really doesn't look any better in the MMC. It's still just a Well, it's a slab. Like, that's what it's gonna... I mean, that's what it is. That's what it's Return supposed the slab. to be. Right. I think give, giving that slab the addition of a base mode was a really smart choice. Oh, 100%. Yeah. That is actually a better all mode than the slab. Yeah. Yep. And it still interacts with the shuttle in a cool way, so I'm, I am good with that. Wouldn't it be interesting if that becomes, like, you know, 10 years later, that becomes his official alt mode for the wings as a base, and the slab is kind of a forgotten thing. Because it's like a, it's a tank or something, right? A vehicle. It's a, it's a crawler. It's like the launch crawler that, that carries things out to the launch pad. 
Okay, okay, okay. That's an actual object. Actual I'm trying object. to see it. So oh, Randall, a and, person. That thing's huge. Randall answered our question. Okay, so Siege had 49 releases. 1985, there were 50 releases. So yeah. there we go. Just barely it edged it out. One. Comparable. Ah. So. But, but that was 49 mass release figures. Did you include like selects and stuff in that, Randall? Or was that, was that just Siege in the if store? You, if you want to get even even cooler, did you include, you know, bot bots? So I was thinking that. I was kind of thinking, you know, year by year, total lines. Oh, there's absolutely was, more product Because I was yep. thinking about 2010 oh. and how insane that got. Because, I mean, you had Generations 2010, Hunter of the Decepticons, uh, I think uh, Power, Core. Power Core. Pretty much the movies were shifting from Revenge of the Fallen to the Dark of the Moon. So you kind of had, like, the end and beginning of both. So it's just like, I think at least 100 figures in that <laughs> in just 2010. A bunch. Yeah, so we are getting I'd more like to Transformers see. product total for sure. I do want to see it. Kind person. of crazy to think about considering there's yeah. like not a movie out. Like there's no, I mean, I guess we have a cartoon now. Oh, um, and Prime. I guess we have Prime a was- couple of cartoons technically, but. This sounds um, like an excellent topic. For a future TF Wild Kings, I think we get to a lot of really fun segues. Yeah, I think so too. That'll be a good topic. Good job, Anna. So there you go. Add it to the list. I mean, yeah, this seems like a short episode to me because there's just there's not a lot of bad things to say about it. We all are in agreement that this figure is great. Yeah. I think Anna put it it's best so where pretty. if you've got Magna Inventa and if you like it, keep it. You know, it's not. I mean, if you want to get a little refund, like she said, and, and buy this one, I think that's great. If you want to keep what you have, that's great. They are comparable, which is pretty remarkable in its own right. I mean, the fact that Hasbro can make something that's even, you know, even com- being able to be compared for eighty dollars compared to two twenty, is it two twenty five or two twenty five? Yeah, two twenty five without shipping. So. Cost me forty dollars to ship that thing last week, by the way. So that weighs almost have, have it's, a, it's, a, it's a heavy dude. It's heavy actually dude. Does yeah, weigh yeah, weigh. Go I'd have to look at the weight, but I bet this weighs more than my beagle. Uh, the the finished package weight of mine to send it was seven and a half pounds. Okay, oh. that's not more. She's twelve. Close oh, so. Almost a beagle. It's a lot of cats. Lots of cats weigh that little. Oh yeah, we didn't even yeah. show off the blast effects. I'd, I'd, I I kind of mine are in the box. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I chucked mine away. I kind of did. Still uh, blast here's, effects are bogus. There's you know what's funny, guy. Christian is is like I was giving you a hard time last <laughs> year. I was like, oh, the blast effects are cool, and you know, yada yada. I've never like used the blast <laughs> effects for anything. I do. Oh, I'm sure I just do it to make it look like he farted. That's all I do. I figured out these ones. Just, I mean, what? These ones can be little knifeys. These little blue ones, see? It's a little knifey now. Like he's Optimus the Stabber. (laughs) Blast effects are getting you back, Megatron. Please stop them. Blast effects are give, me, give me four more paint apps for blast effects. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> give me the blast effects. Blast effects, give me four more paint apps. Give me paint apps for a studio series rather than blast effects and it call me happy. I don't know. Studio series? Hmm. I'll have to think about that one. Come uh, on. A topic for another time. Huh. Well, so... Is that all up to people? Um, I was going to mention, uh, last night we reviewed the Transformers Seed show, uh, net, the Netflix show. So if uh, you didn't get a chance to check that out, uh, that should be up on YouTube. Uh, and then tomorrow night we're doing an Ouch My Wallet, or someone's going to do it. I'm not sure who's on yet, but Rob is, is having the show, so uh, so check that. So And... 
I guess. Do we have I any final thoughts or anything fun. before? What's that? I do not. I said it was fun. Pleasant show. It was fun. It was Yay. good. Anna likes a Hasbro figure. Woo. That's right. Hey, okay. hey, that's like two in a row. Because we talked about Corpse Prime. And then they come. A lot. There, uh... It was some kind of weird world where Christian like actually did doesn't have a Hasbro figure that Anna has, which is like a weird. It was just a deck world to be in. He has the mold. I do have the mold, and I'll have another one in the next couple months. Fortunately, and we'll talk about that too. All right. Well, thank you uh, to everyone in the chat. Uh, Randall, Ron, Tony, Catherine. Thanks, y'all. I saw one more person. Ron. Is there anybody else? I said Ron. Did you? Okay. Yeah, I, I said Ron before. So, yeah. Maybe all right. There'll be too many people for us today. <laughs> there, there you go. Well, thank you, everyone. And we will see you next week. Good night, dear friends. Toodles. <laughs>